Justin. Go ahead. How is the uh, new groove rule going to affect you? Will it affect you at all? Or have you guys already made the adjustment? What do you see in the future to make up for that changes in the ball, perhaps? Um, he asked about the new groove rule and then, um, how it's affecting guys. I, I think it's it's definitely affecting everyone. It will affect some players more than most. Um, my The set of irons that I used last year um, were not conforming by the rules, but they were very close to being conforming. They were very soft, new groove. Um, so I haven't noticed a difference in my in my irons. Now, the, the two wedges, I had fairly aggressive grooves in, and I've certainly noticed a difference in those. Um, but I, I think, you know, I'm, I need to play from the fairway anyway, so it hasn't changed my game a whole lot. Um, I think a lot of guys who, uh, and girls who, you know, you're well, uh, you know, who hit it down there as far as they can and then figure it out from there, I, I think they're going to have to make more adjustments in their game. Uh, but, I, you know, I think most, I've been playing them since um, the week after the President's Cup, so since the middle of October. So I've, I've gotten used to it and adjusted and, and uh, sure, there's little shots here and there that you find on the golf course that, you know, maybe we haven't practiced yet. And, and it's just a matter of hitting those shots a few times. And, um, but to me, you know, I played, I played V grooves my whole career, or a very soft U groove that was very similar. And, and uh, so the biggest difference is I, I've actually added, a lot of guys have taken a little loft off their wedges because their, their trajectory naturally goes up with the V groove. And, and so, they get used to flighting their wedges down. I've I've done the opposite. I've left my 54 degree the same, but I used to play a 58. Now I'm playing a 60 because uh, if, if I'm not going to be able to stop a ball with spin, I need to do it with loft. And uh, so I I probably don't hit my 60 as much from the fairway, um, but around the greens, it's it's I think I don't feel like I've lost a whole lot with my shot game. What do I use? Yeah. <laughs> so far, it has to do with all. So, if you hit it from the fairway, it doesn't really affect the locks. But obviously, I had a rough and for me, changing and I tested it, I found that a little softer ball kind of makes up for the little less spin you get with the grooves. Um, so, it's, it's not a major factor. I mean, they made it harder to play out a rough, which is benefits the straight, straight hitters. something over there, what I thought was his ball, just over the green. Well, he walked past that, crossed over the rope, around the tower, he hit this thing 35 yards over the green. So, I never saw anybody hit a ball that far over green in the last 10, 15 years. And you're, you're going to see it more often now. It'll be interesting to me to see how how it affects the, the setups. Um, you know, courses don't need four or five inches of rough like we, we see a lot of times. Um, in fact, I, the courses will be better now with two or three inches of rock, where guys can try and get it up around the green, but they're not necessarily going to be able to control it once the ball hits on the ground. Probably around the green, so see more of the guys hitting more of the old traditional chip and run instead of you lose a little bit of the spin and the check on the ball for a short chip shot. So see probably a little 